how many parliamentary committees has the lok sabha speaker constituted for 2024 25 six option c lok sabha speaker om birla constituted six new parliamentary committees three financial committees public accounts committee which will be headed by kc venu gopal estimates committee will be headed by sanjay jaiswal public undertakings committee will be headed by bajent panda and three other committees are committee on welfare of other backward classes headed by ganesh singh committee on the welfare of scheduled castes will be headed by fagan singh kulaste and committee on the welfare of scheduled tribes will be headed by fagan singh kulaste all the above formed committees have a tenure of 1 year and have members from both the lok sabha and the rajya sabha who has won the title of western india billiards and snooker championships 2024 pankaj adwani option a he has won a total of 27 world titles he has won seven consecutive titles also four in snooker and three billiards in the last two years he has been awarded with padma bhushan india's third highest civilian honor in 2018 major dhyan chand khel ratn india's highest sporting honor in 2005 6 the rajiv gandhi award in year 2004 and the arjun award in year 2004 itself which country will host the second edition of the icc under 19 women's t20 world cup 2025 malaysia option b the second edition of the tournament will be held from 18 january 2025 the semi finals and finals will be played at biomass oval cricket stadium located in klang of malaysia there will be four groups in group a india west indies sri lanka and malaysia are there in group b england pakistan ireland and usa in group c new zealand south africa africa qualifier and samoa and in group d australia bangladesh asia qualifier and scotland will be there malaysia is a country in southeast asia its capital is kuala lumpur official language is malay currency is malaysian ringgit and prime minister is anwar ibrahim which has become the first village in maharashtra to be powered 100% by solar power manya chewadi option c the manya chewadi village in the patan taluka of satara district has become the first solar village in maharashtra according to maharashtra state Electricity Distribution Company Limited, Shivtirth Nagar in Kothrud, and Sector 25 in Nigri have also been chosen under the Solar Village Scheme. The objective of the government is zero electricity bills for household as part of the PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana. The MSCDCL has announced their plan to provide up to 100% solar powered electricity to two villages in each district. Following. Manya Chewadi over 70 other villages across Maharashtra will also be part of this project who has been appointed as the new secretary to the president of India Deepthi Uma Shankar option D the other appointments are Vivek Joshi appointed as secretary department of personal and training Nagaraju Madhirala appointed as department of financial services secretary Rajesh Singh appointed as Secretary of the Department of Defence Kati Kithala Srinivas appointed as Secretary Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs Punya Salil Srivastava appointed as Secretary Department of Health and Family Welfare Amar Deep Singh Bhatia appointed as Secretary Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade Manoj Govil as Secretary Department of Expenditure Ministry of Finance Vandana Gurnani as Secretary Coordination Cabinet Secretariat Chandrasekhar Kumar appointed as Secretary Ministry of Minority Affairs Ram Narayan Agrawal has passed away recently he is regarded as the father of blank missiles in India Agni Missiles Option A he had served as the Agni program director and ASL Advanced Systems Laboratory director in Hyderabad former president APJ Abdul Kalam and missile man of India
had started the IGMTP Integrated Guided Missile Development Program and Agni was a key program in it. The awards won by Ram Narayan Agrawal in his lifetime were Padma Shri in 1990, Padma Bhushan in 2000, Scientist of the Year Award in 1993, DRDO Technology Leadership Award in 1998, Dr. Biren Roy Space Science Award in 1990 from the Aero Society of India. The Border Roads Organization has successfully reconstructed the Indrani Bridge. It is in which state? Sikkim Option A. It connects the northern region of the state to the rest of India. The project was led by the 764 Border Roads Task Force under Project Swastik. BRO has constructed a 300-foot ballet suspension bridge following a joint survey with Garden Reach shipbuilders and engineers. BRO is a border roads organization which is a statutory body under the ownership of the Ministry of Defense of the Government of India. BRO develops and maintains road networks in India's border areas and friendly neighboring countries. It was founded on 7 May 1960. Its headquarters is in New Delhi and the Director General is Lieutenant General Raghu Srinivasan. Which airline has claimed the top spot in South Asia for 2024? Vistara Option D In the latest SkyTrax rankings of the best airlines in South Asia for 2024, it's notable that 6 out of the top 10 airlines are Indian carriers. Leading the regional rankings, Vistara is positioned 16th globally followed by Indigo at 52nd and Air India at 90th. Qatar Airways has reclaimed the top spot and title of the world's best airline in 2024. Which state government has launched the Har Ghar Har Grahani portal 2024? Haryana Option C. It is to provide free gas cylinders and subsidies on the purchase of LPG gas cylinders. Under this scheme, all the female citizens of Haryana state who are financially unstable will receive free LPG gas cylinders and subsidy on purchasing new gas cylinders. The scheme will offer gas cylinders to approximately 50 lakh BPL families at Rs 500 each. Haryana, its capital is Chandigarh, Chief Minister is Nayab Singh Saini and Governor is Bandaru Dattatre. Which of the following institute has launched the Sea Narmada? It's both A and B. Option D. IIT Gandhinagar and IIT Indore. A new center called the Center for Narmada River Basin Management has been created to study the Narmada River and its surrounding areas. To achieve this, Sea Narmada will carry out a condition assessment and management plan. This center will work with IIT Indore and is supported by the Ministry of Jal Shakti, responsible for water resources in India. The Narmada River flows through the states of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. The Sardar Sarovar Dam on the river is one of the largest dams in Asia. The Ministry of Jal Shakti in India was created in 2019. The Union Minister of Jal Shakti at present is C.R. Patil. This ministry combines two older ministries the Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation and the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Who has been appointed as CEO of Khadi and Village Industries Commission, KVIC? Vatsalya Saxena, Option A. KVIC, Khadi and Village Industries Commission is a statutory body of the Indian Constitution. It comes under the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. It was founded in year 1957 and its headquarters is in Mumbai. The broad objectives of the Khadi Village and Industries Commission are to boost employment in the country, to promote the promotion and sale of Khadi articles and empowering underprivileged and rural sections of the society. The Union Minister of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises at present is Sri Jitan Ram Maji. Which country is planning to launch its 1000 sales satellite constellation? China Option D. Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology launched the first components of the network. SSST's constellation has been named 1000 sales. 
the first 18 satellites were successfully deployed sst plans to launch 108 satellites this year 648 by the end of next year to provide global network coverage by 2027 and by the end of the decade sst aims to deploy 15000 satellites which organization has issued the world's first carbon removal bond to fund amazon reforestation world bank option c the world bank sold a 9 year 225 million dollar note to raise funds for reforestation in the amazon world bank it is an international financial institution that provides loans and grants to the governments of low and middle income countries for the purpose of pursuing capital projects it was founded in july 1944 its headquarters in washington dc of us and its president is ajay banga where has the chinar book festival been organized in shrinagar of jammu and kashmir option d a week long national event titled chinar book festival commenced at Sheri Kashmir International Conference Center in Srinagar. The festival will also host a significant photo exhibition displaying themes Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh through the ages, 25 years of Kargil Vijay Divas and National Space Day. Jammu and Kashmir its capitals are Srinagar and Jammu. It became union territory on 31st October 2019 and its lieutenant governor is Manoj Sinha. from which country has the northeastern handicrafts and handlooms development corporation successfully obtained the prestigious opotex certification for its eri silk germany option b eri silk is a product of the domesticated silk worm samia ricini found mainly in northeast india particularly in assam and meghalaya and some part of china and japan Opotex certifications are recognized globally with partner institutes in over 60 countries. Opotex labels and certificates confirm the safety of textile products and leather articles from all stages of production. Germany is a Western European country. Its capital is Berlin. Official language is German. Currency is Euro. Chancellor is Olaf Scholz and president is Frank Walter Steen Meyer Where will the first joint commanders conference be held In Lucknow of Uttar Pradesh option A for the first time the joint commanders conference will be held over 2 days from 4 September in Lucknow The conference theme is Sashakt aur Surakshit Bharat Transforming the Armed Forces Uttar Pradesh Its capital is Lucknow. Chief Minister is Yogi Adityanath, and Governor is Anandi Ben Patel. Australia has announced Maitri grants for research and cultural collaboration with which country? India. Option A. The Maitri grants, administered by the Centre for Australia-India Relations, aim to deepen links and allow for closer collaboration between the two countries. The five Maitri research grants will explore opportunities in agribusiness, critical technology, energy transition, and advanced manufacturing. The Centre for Australia-India Relations is a national platform established by the Australian government in 2023 to support and facilitate greater collaboration and engagement with India. The Centre for Australia-India Relations. CEO is Tim Thomas. Foreign Minister of Australia is Juan Penny Wong and Foreign Minister of India is S Jay Shankar. Which country will host the World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly 2024? India option A. India is set to host the World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly WTSA. 2024 from 15th October to 24th October at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi the theme for GSS 24 is charting the next digital wave 
emerging technologies, innovation, and international standards. It is organized by the International Telecommunication Union WTSA that occurs every four years. ITU ITU is a specialized agency of the United Nations for Information and Communication Technologies. It was founded in year 1865. Its headquarters in Geneva of Switzerland and Secretary General of ITU is Doreen Bogdan Martin. It includes 193 member countries and over 900 private sector entities and academic institutions. India is a member of the ITU since 1869 and a member of the ITU Governing Council since 1952. What is the World Bank's new index that will assess various aspects of business environments? Business Ready Index Option C. The new Business Ready Index will replace the previous Doing Business Index. The Be Ready Index, the World Bank's latest flagship report, will benchmark the business environment and investment climate across global economies. The Be Ready Index focuses on 10 key areas, opening a business, entry, location, operation and expanding a business, utility services, labor, financial services, international trade, taxation, dispute resolution, and market competition, and closing a business, that is business insolvency. Three Be Ready pilot reports are scheduled for release from 2024 to 2026. India aims to publish its Be Ready report by April 2026. Who has been appointed Managing Director and CEO of Multi Commodity Exchange of India Limited and CX? Praveena Rai, Option B. The Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, has approved Praveena Rai's appointment as the Managing Director and CEO of the Multi Commodity Exchange, MCX, India's largest commodity exchange. MCX, it was founded on 10th November 2003 and its headquarters in Mumbai. When is Indonesian Independence Day observed every year? On 17th of August, Option B, Indonesia had celebration ceremonies for the country's 79th Independence Anniversary at the newly inaugurated capital, Nusantara. Indonesia declared its independence from the Netherlands on 17th August 1945. This year, the theme of the Independence Day was New Nusantara Advanced Indonesia. Indonesia, officially the Republic of Indonesia, is a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania, between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It consists of over 17,000 islands. Its official language is Indonesian, currency is Indonesian rupiah and president is Joko Widodo. When is the World Photography Day observed every year? 19th August Option B. This day is for celebrating the art, craft, science and history of photography. The World Photography Day 2024 theme is an entire day. World Photography Week 2024 is from 12th August to 26th August. The world's first photograph was captured by French scientist Joseph Nicefor Nipse. It was titled View from the Window at Le Grass. Which state has launched the Upasthiti portal for health department employees? Jharkhand Option D to ensure the daily attendance of all doctors, paramedical workers, contract workers and other workers working under the health department. It's aiming to provide better medical services in hospitals and health centers. Efforts include enhancing maintenance resources and investigation facilities to ensure accessible health care for all residents of Jharkhand. Jharkhand, its capital is Rachi, Chief Minister is Himan Sore and Governor is Santosh Gangwar. Which organization has emerged as India's most attractive employer brand according to the findings of Randstad Employer Brand Research 2024? Microsoft Option B followed by TCS and Amazon in the second and third place respectively. Others in the top 10 most attractive employer brands include Tata Power Company, 
at fourth tata motors at fifth samsung india at sixth infosys at seventh larson and tubro at eighth reliance industries at ninth and mercedes benz at tenth position the rand stad employer brand research is the top employer brands of the country for the last 24 years globally and 14 years in india the report is a comprehensive study that delves into the perception of india's largest employers among employees this year's study spanned 32 global markets and surveyed nearly 1,73,000 respondents and 3,507 respondents in India. Microsoft, it was founded in year 1975. The founders are Bill Gates and Paul Allen. CEO is Satya Nadella and its headquarters is in Redmond, Washington of US. Which medal has India's Ronak Dahiya clinched in Under-17 World Wrestling Championship 2024 in 110 kg category? Bronze medal option B. India's Ronak Dehia bagged the first medal for India bronze medal in the 110 kg Greco-Roman category by defeating Turkey's Emrola Kapkan. Sainath Pardhi won India's second medal securing bronze in the men's 51 kg Greco-Roman category with a victory over Kazakhstan's Yerasil Musan. Ronak is currently ranked Number two in the world in his age group weight category. Under 17 World Wrestling Championship 2024 is being held in Amman of Jordan from 19 to 25 August 2024. Who has been ranked as a top central banker globally by Global Finance Magazine in 2024? All of these option D. Reserve Bank of India Governor Shanti Kant Das has been ranked as a top central banker globally for the second consecutive year by Global Finance magazine. Das along with Denmark's Christian Kettle Thomson and Switzerland's Thomas Jordan received an A grade for excellence in inflation control, economic growth, currency stability and interest rate management. Global Finance's annual central banker report cards honor those bank leaders whose strategies outperformed their peers through originality, creativity, and tenacity. The central banker report cards published annually by Global Finance since 1994 great central bank governors of nearly 100 countries, territories, and districts including the European Union, Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Bank of Central African States and Central Bank of West African States. Grades are based on a scale from A to F for success in inflation control, economic growth goals, currency stability and interest rate management. Who has been selected as the head of the National Cricket Academy? VVS Lakshman Option C is a former Indian international cricketer and a former cricket commentator. His term has been extended as head of the National Cricket Academy by a year. National Cricket Academy, it was founded in year 2000. Founder is Raj Singh Dungarpur. It is located in Bengaluru and its parent organization is BCCI. There are some awards which are won by VVS Lakshman. Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award in 2011 and Arjun Award in Sports in year 2001. Which country has been impacted by the Typhoon Ampel? Japan Option C. A powerful tropical cyclone Ampel had maximum sustained winds of 132 miles per hour. It was a Category 4 hurricane. Depending on its location and its strength, a tropical cyclone is called a hurricane, typhoon, tropical storm, cyclonic storm, tropical depression or simply cyclone. It's called hurricanes in Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, typhoons in Northwest Pacific and cyclones in Indian Ocean and South Pacific Ocean. Earlier to this, there was Rimmel cyclone in Bay of Bengal, from 25th to 27th May 2024. Which state has approved the Guru Ghasidas 
the more pingala tiger reserve to combat the decline in its tiger population chatisgarh option t covering 2829 square kilometer the newly designated guru ghasidas the more pingala tiger reserve integrates the guru ghasidas national park and the tamor pingla wildlife sanctuary it is the third largest tiger reserve in india it is located in the districts of manindragarh chirmiri bharatpur koria surajpur and balrampur national tiger conservation authority revealed a dramatic drop in chatisgarh's tiger population from 46 in 2014 to just 17 in 2022 At present there are 55 tiger reserves in 18 states in 2024 Dholpur Karol Tiger Reserve in Rajasthan has become the 55th tiger reserve in India Largest tiger reserve of India is Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam Tiger Reserve in Andhra Pradesh having 3296.31 square kilometer area The second largest tiger reserve of India is Manas Tiger Reserve of Assam having 2837.1 square kilometer area. Every year on 29 July International Tiger Day is celebrated. Currently Chhattisgarh has 3 tiger reserves Indravati in Bijapur district, Udanti Sita Nadi in Garyaband and Achanakmar in Mungeli. When was the World Sanskrit Day observed this year? 19th August option C World Sanskrit Day is observed on the day of Shravan Purnima in the Hindu calendar which coincides with the celebration of Raksha Bandhan. World Sanskrit Day theme 2024 was Vedic heritage and tradition. On the occasion of World Sanskrit Day Sri Aurobindo Society Union Territory of Puducherry presents a week long celebration of Sanskrit language from 19 to 25th August 2024 Who has taken the charge as chairman of Skill University in Telangana Anand Mahindra option C Mr Anand Mahindra is the chairman of the Mahindra group In August 2024 itself the Telangana Assembly had passed a bill for setting up a skill university in the state under a PPP model. Telangana its capital is Hyderabad chief minister is Revanth Reddy governor is Jishnu Dev Verma. Telangana was founded on 2nd June 2014 earlier it was part of United Andhra Pradesh. who has been appointed as director general of employees state insurance corporation ashok kumar singh option b esic employees state insurance corporation is one of the two main statutory social security bodies under the administrative control of ministry of labor and employment government of india the other being the employees provident fund organization it was founded in year 1952 Its headquarters is in New Delhi. The minister responsible is Mansukh Mandavia and the parent department is Ministry of Labor and Employment, Government of India. Which state has approved logistic policy 2024 recently? Maharashtra option A. The Maharashtra government has approved logistics policy 2024 proposing to set up more than 200 logistic park complexes and truck terminals with integrated facilities which is expected to generate approximately 5 lakh new job opportunities the policy targets developing 10000 plus acres of logistic infrastructure including 25 district nodes five regional hubs and state national and international logistics hubs it is being done to boost the state's economy by generating about 30573 crore rupees in revenue over the next 5 years these plans are based on recommendations from the state economic advisory council maharashtra's capital is mumbai chief minister is eknath shinde and governor is cp radhakrishnan which institute has developed issues for live location tracking IIT Indore of Madhya Pradesh option C the shoes are incorporating triboelectric nano generator technology 
which generates electricity from human motion and integrates GPS for real-time location tracking. The first batch of 10 pairs of these innovative shoes has been supplied to DRDO. IT Indore, it was founded in year 2009. Its chairman is Mr. K. Sivan and director is Mr. Suhas S. Joshi. India and which country has signed an MOU for LNG infrastructure development? Sri Lanka option B. An MOU was signed between the Indian company Petronet LNG Limited and the Sri Lanka based private company for infrastructure development and supply of liquefied natural gas that is LNG in Colombo. Sri Lanka's Minister for Power and Energy Kanchana Vijay Sekra and Deputy High Commissioner of India Dr. Satyanjal Pandey witnessed the signing of the MOU. The MOU would allow for the development of LNG-based power plants with a capacity of over 1000 megawatt at Keravala Pitya near Colombo as well as supply of the fuel from Kochi LNG terminal. The Union Minister of Power of India is Sri Manohar Lal Khattar. Sri Lanka, it's a country in Asia. Its capital is Colombo. Currency is Sri Lankan rupee. Official languages are Sinhala and Tamil. President is Ranil Vikramasinghe. And Prime Minister is Dinesh Gunavardena. What percent of Indian spices has failed the FSSAI quality and safety standards test? 12% option B. 474 out of 4054 samples tested by the FSSAI between May and early July did not meet quality and safety parameters. As per Xeon market research data, India's domestic spice market was valued at $10.44 billion in 2022. India exported a record spices of value. $4.46 billion in the financial year 2023-24. Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, it's a statutory body under the administration of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. It regulates the manufacture, storage, distribution, sale and import of food articles while also establishing standards to ensure food safety. It was founded on 5th September 2008. Its headquarters is in New Delhi. Its chairperson is Sudhansh Pant and chief executive officer is Ganji Kamla V. Rao. Who has made a new world record in men's T20 international for most runs in an over? Darius Wizer, option D. Darius Wizer has hit 39 runs in an over. He made history in the T20 World Cup East Asia Pacific region qualifier against Vanuata in Apia. He plays for the Samoa national cricket team in international cricket. This outstanding stroke play placed Wizar alongside notable batters like Yuvra Singh, Kiron Pollard and Dipender Singh Ari who have also hit six sixes in an over in men's T20 internationals. India has signed the first ever green ammonia export agreement with blank. With Japan, option D. It's an agreement which has been signed between Semcorp Industries, Sozits Corporation, Kyushu Electric Power Corporation and NYK Line, establishing a cross-border green ammonia supply. Union Minister of New and Renewable Energy, Pralha Joshi, chaired the signing ceremony of the first ever agreement for the export of green ammonia from India to Japan. India's aim to become a global leader in green hydrogen and ammonia production. Who has been appointed as the interim chairman of the Airports Authority of India? M. Suresh, Option C, AAI, that is Airports Authority of India, its headquarters in New Delhi, it was founded on 1st April 1995. Its owner is Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India. The Union Minister of Civil Aviation at present is Kinjarapu Ram Mohan Naidu. When is the Akshay Urja Divas 
observed every year in India. 20th August Option D It is a campaign to raise awareness about the advantages of renewable energy. The day was established by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy in 2004 by former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. An event was organized in New Delhi. World Mosquito Day and Sadbhavna Divas are also observed on 20th August. You may watch the full video on Akshay Urja Divas and Sadbhavna Divas Top MCQs. The link is in the description. Where was the 4th India Zambia Foreign Office Consultations held? In Lusaka, Option B, both India and Zambia agreed to hold the next FOC in New Delhi. Zambia, it's an African country. Its capital is Lusaka. Currency is Zambian Kwacha. The official language is English and president is Hakainde Hichilema. Who has assumed charge as Director General, Hospital Services, Armed Forces? Vice Admiral Anupam Kapoor Option A Prior to taking over as the DGHS Armed Forces, the Flag Officer served as the Command Medical Officer of the Western Naval Command. He has also commanded Premier Indian Navy Hospitals INHS Aswini and INHS Sanjeevani. Vice Admiral Kapoor has been awarded the No Sena Medal earlier. India Ratings raises India's GDP growth outlook for financial year 25 to blank. 7.5% Option A According to India Ratings, India's economic growth projection for the current financial year is 7.5% from its earlier estimate of 7.1%. The other estimates are, according to RBI, it is 7.2%, according to Economic Survey, 6.5 to 7%, according to IMF, it is 7%, and according to Asian Development Bank, it's 7%. Which has become the first state in India to buy all crops from farmers at MSP? Haryana, Option D. Haryana has also announced the waiving of 133 crore rupees in outstanding canal water irrigation charges. They have announced a payment of pending compensation of 137 crore rupees within a week to farmers who suffered crop damage because of natural calamity in Rohtak, Nu, Fatehabad and Sirsa before 2023. Minimum support price MSP is the minimum price set by government for certain agricultural products at which the products would directly be bought from the farmers if the open market prices are less than the cost incurred. This is done by the government to protect the farmers against a fall in prices in a year of bumper production. When the market price falls below the declared MSP, the government would purchase the entire quantity from the farmers at MSP. The MSP is applicable on 22 crops. Of those 22 mandated crops, 14 are of Kharif season, 6 are Rabi and 2 other commercial crops. Kharif crops includes Paddy, Joar, Bajra, Maize, Ragi, Tuar, Moong, Urad, Groundnut and Soyabean. Rabi crops includes Wheat, Barley, Gram, Masoor, Rapeseed, Mustard and Safflower. The commercial crops include two crops only, jute and copra. Haryana, its capital is Chandigarh, chief minister is Nayab Singh Saini and governor is Bandaru Datta Treya. India and which country has established the Smart Laboratory on Clean Rivers project in Varanasi of Uttar Pradesh? Denmark, option B. SLCR Secretariat will receive the initial funding of Rs 16.80 crore from Jal Shakti Ministry and an additional 5 crore rupees grant from Denmark to support long-term sustainability and project development. The Indo-Danish Joint Steering Committee is the highest forum for SLCR which provides strategic guidance and reviews progress. The Project Review Committee 
with members from the National Mission on Clean Ganga, Central Water Commission, Central Groundwater Board, IIT BHU and Denmark's Urban Sector Councillor will oversee quality control at project level. Four projects are to be taken up under the collaboration. They are creating a decision support system for water management to analyze basin water dynamics through hydrological models, scenario generation, forecasting and data analytics. Second is characterization of emerging pollutants and fingerprint analysis that aims to create a detailed fingerprint library, enhance water quality monitoring and propose effective remediation strategies. Third is a selected stretch of the Varuna River that will demonstrate interventions based on a holistic plan and river manual. Implementing SLCR's vision of global sustainable solutions to enhance regional economic and social development while ensuring good river health. Fourth is hydrogeological model of the Varuna Basin for recharge sites to enhance base flow through managed aquifer recharge. Varuna River, it is a minor tributary of the Ganga River. It rises from Fulpur town in the Prayagraj district. Denmark, it's a country in Europe. Its capital is Copenhagen. Official language is Danish, currency is Danish Kron. King of Denmark is Frederick X and Prime Minister is Matt Frederiksen. The Union Ministry of Jal Shakti in India is C.R. Patel. Where was the 19th CII India Africa Business Conclave held? In New Delhi, Option D. The inaugural session of the 19th CII Confederation of Indian Industry India Africa Business Conclave was held in New Delhi from 20th to 22nd August. The theme of this India Africa Business Conclave, Creating One Future, is deeply embedded in our civilization ethos and amplified in the motto of India's G20 Presidentship, which is stood for One Earth, One Family, One Future. The conclave aims to boost trade and investment encourage Indian investment in Africa and explore business opportunities. This year's focus includes agriculture, food processing, defense, health care, digital partnerships, power, energy, financial partnerships, infrastructure and skill development. CII, it's a non-governmental trade association and advocacy group. It was formed in year 1895, its headquarters in New Delhi of India, its president is Sanjeev Puri and director general is Chandrajit Banerjee. Which of the following cricketer has been honored at the 26th C8 Cricket Awards? It's both A and B, option D, Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli. The C8 Cricket Awards started in 1995-96 and is sponsored by R.P. Goenka Group Company, C8 Tires. The list of winners of 2023-24 C8 Cricket Award is Rahul Dravid has been given Lifetime Achievement Award, Rohit Sharma given as International Cricketer of the Year. In performance in test matches in men's category, the Batsman of the Year is given to Yashasvi Jaiswal and Bowler of the Year is given to Ravi Chandran Ashwin. In performance in ODIs, in men's category, batsman of the year is given to Virat Kohli and bowler of the year is given to Muhammad Shami. Performance in T20, in men's category, the batsman of the year award is given to Phil Salt of England. Bowler of the year is given to Team Saudi of New Zealand. Performance in domestic cricket, in men's category, the cricketer of the year is given to Sai Kishore is a left-arm spinner from Tamil Nadu. The batter of the year in women's cricket is given to Smriti Mandhana and bowler of the year in women's cricket is given to Deepthi Sharma. Some mementos were also presented. Most matches as a captain in women's T20 international history, momento is given to Harman Preet Kaur. For outstanding leadership in Tata IPL, it's given to Shreyas Iyer. 
for fastest double century in women's test match is given to shafali verma there is another award for excellence in sports administration it's given to bcci secretary jay shah which has become the first state in india to notify rules for serving summons and warrants online madhya pradesh option c the state's home department has officially published the madhya pradesh electronic processes issuance service and execution rules 2024 in the madhya pradesh gazette chief minister dr mohan yadav said that this development sanctioned under the country's new law the bharatiya nagrik suraksha sanhita 2023 and it aims to accelerate judicial procedures fortify legal proceedings and enhance the efficiency of the judicial system this initiative permits the use of electronic methods such as email messaging apps like whatsapp and text messages in its judicial processes madhya pradesh its capital is bhopal and governor is mangu bhai c patel which medal did neera chopra win in men's javelin final in the lausanne diamond league 2024 Silver medal option B. The final standings were: the gold medal is won by Anderson Peters of Grenada with 90.61 meter throw. Silver medal is won by Neeraj Chopra of India with 89.49 meter throw. Bronze medal is won by Julian Weber of Germany with 87.08 meter. The Diamond League is an annual series of the elite track and field athletic competitions. organized by World Athletics formerly known as the IAAF it brings together the best athletes from around the world to compete in a variety of disciplines including sprints middle and long distance running hurdles jumps throws and more it was founded in year 2010 the awards and medals won by Neeraj Chopra are he has got the Arjun award in 2018 major dhyan chand khel ratna award in 2021 and padma shri in 2022 he has got one gold and one silver medal in olympic games in different sessions who has been elected as new president of nascom rajesh nambiar option b Rajesh Nambiar has resigned from the position of India Chairman and Managing Director of Cognizant. He will succeed Devjani Ghosh, the current president, whose term expires in November 2024. NASCOM, it is National Association of Software and Service Companies. It's an Indian non-governmental trade association and advocacy group that primarily serves the Indian technology industry. Its founders Our Nandan Nilkani and Devang Mehta. It was founded on 1st March 1988, and its headquarters is in Noida, Uttar Pradesh, and in New Delhi. Whose autobiography is the scientist entrepreneur empowering millions of women? Dr. Kalpana Sankar, Option A. Dr. Soumya Swaminathan, Chairperson of MS Swaminathan. Research Foundation and former WHO chief scientist officially released this book. Swadi Martin, the chairperson and CEO of Yeswara, received the first copy of this autobiography. Hand in Hand India is an international non-profit organization co-founded by Dr. Kalpana Sankar. The book is capturing the valuable lessons from establishing and managing microfinance initiatives recently in news india second home built 700 megawatt nuclear power reactor is in which state gujarat option a at kakrapur atomic power station near surat in gujarat on 21st august 2024 it is started operating at its full capacity India is building 14 more 700 megawatt nuclear power reactors of the same design which are expected to commence operations progressively by 2031-32. The NPCIL presently operates a fleet of 24 reactors with a total capacity of 8180 megawatt 
and has eight units with a capacity of 6800 megawatt under construction. Then PCIL target to install nuclear power capacity in the country to 22,480 megawatt by 2031-32. Gujarat, its capital is Gandhinagar, CM is Bhupendra Bhai Patel and governor is Acharya Devrat. Namami Gange's mission was in news recently in which year was it launched. In June 2014, option A, National River Ganga Basin Authority was formed by the Government of India in year 2009 under Section 3 of the Environment Protection Act 1986. The Government of India has completed and operationalized major projects under the Namami Gange Mission 2.0, 30 MLDSTP at Munger, 8.5 MLDSTP at Pakka Pokhara Mirzapur, 21 MLDSTP at Ghazipur, 42 MLDSTP at Bisalpur Road, Bareilly, 20 MLDSTP at Chaubari in Bareilly. MLD stands for megaliters per day and STP stands for Severage Treatment Plant. These projects based on hybrid annuity PPP model have been designed on the basis of advanced sequencing batch reactor technology which has become the third state to implement one-day paid menstrual leave for working women. Odisha Option C Odisha has become the third state after Kerala and Bihar to bring in a menstrual leave policy for working women. Bihar introduced its policy in 1992, allowing women two days of paid menstrual leave each month. In year 2023, Kerala extended menstrual leave to female students in all universities and institutions. Odisha, its capital is Bhubaneswar, Chief Minister is Mohan Charan Maji and Governor is Raghubar Das. Where have India and Israel launched the new water technology center? At IIT Madras, Option D. The joint statement of intent was signed by the Embassy of Israel, IIT Madras and the Amrut Mission, Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation from the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This initiative is designed to strengthen India's efforts in sustainable water management and improve water resource management practices. Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation is a development mission launched by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi in June 2015 with a focus to establish infrastructure that could ensure adequate robust sewage networks and water supply for urban transformation by implementing urban revival projects. IIT Madras, it was established in year 1959. It is located in Chennai. It has the largest solar power facility of any educational institution. The Union Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs in India is Sri Manohar Lal Khattar. Israel, it's a country in West Asia. Its capital is Jerusalem. Official language is Hebrew. Prime Minister is Benjamin Netanyahu. And President is Isaac Herzog. What is the new limit for tax payments via UPI decided by RBI? Just 5 lakh rupees now. Option D. The RBI has decided to enhance the limit for tax payments via UPI from 1 lakh rupee to 5 lakh rupees per transaction. The RBI is also provisioning to introduce delegated payments through UPI. This will enable a secondary user like a spouse to make payments via UPI by using the bank account of the primarily user. RBI, its Reserve Bank of India, which was founded on 1st April 1935 and got nationalized with effect from 1st January 1949. The governor of RBI at present is Shakti Kant Das. How many villages were recognized as best tourism villages? In the first edition of the Best Tourism Village competition held in 2023, a total of 35 villages were recognized as Best Tourism Villages. The Ministry of Tourism launched the Best Tourism Villages competition to honor a village that best exemplifies a tourism destination which preserves cultural and natural assets 
promotes community based values and lifestyles and has a clear commitment to sustainability in all its aspects economic social and environmental five villages are put in gold category which includes davar village of jammu and kashmir kanthalur village of kerala madla village of madhya pradesh reek village of mizoram and sarmoli village of uttarakhand 10 villages have been included in silver category and 20 villages in bronze category the union minister of tourism and culture at present is shri gajin singh shekhawat who has been appointed as first female ceo of dbs bank 10 sushan option c dbs bank is a development bank of singapore limited dbs bank limited is a singaporean multinational banking and financial services corporation its headquarters is in singapore and it was founded in year 1968 Singapore is a country in Asia. Capital is Singapore city. Currency is Singapore dollar. Official languages are Malay, which is national language, English, Tamil, Singaporean, Mandarin. Prime Minister is Lawrence Wong and President is Tharman. When is the Parsi Navrosh Navrosh observed every year? On 16th August, option C. Globally Navroz is celebrated on 21st March however in India it is celebrated on 16th August because of the Shahin Shahi calendar that is followed by Parsis in India Navroz is also known as Parsi New Year in Persian Nav stands for new and Roz stands for the day which translates to new day Navroz is inscribed in the list of UNESCO intangible cultural heritage of humanity What is the name of India's first reusable hybrid rocket? It's RHUMI-1, Rumi-1, option B. It is developed by the Tamil Nadu based startup Space Zone India with Martin Grove from Thiruvidandhai in Chennai in August 2024. The mission Rumi is led by Anand Megalingam. The founder of the Space Zone under the mentorship of Dr. Mail Swami Anna Durai former director of ISRO satellite center the Rumi 1 reusable hybrid rocket launched 3 cubesats and 50 pico satellites into a suborbital trajectory the satellites will collect data for research on global warming and climate change Rumi 1 a sounding rocket flew at an altitude of about 35 km and returned to earth after conducting several experiments within seconds hybrid rocket a hybrid rocket engine combines the features of both solid fueled and liquid fueled engines hybrid rocket engines use solid fuel as the propellant and the liquid or gaseous oxidizer to sustain combustion space zone india it's a private aero technology company it aims to develop low cost long term solutions for the space industry its headquarters in chennai and chairman is k megalingam who has won the national geo science award for lifetime achievement professor dheeraj mohan banerji option d professor dheeraj mohan banerji emeritus scientist at the indian National Science Academy is recognized for his distinguished and pioneering work on phosphorides isotope geology and organic geochemistry of Precambrian sedimentary rocks of India total of 12 awards for outstanding achievements in geosciences mineral exploration and natural hazard investigations to 21 geoscientists are given under three categories one award in national geo science award for lifetime achievement category 10 awards in national geo science award category and one award in national young geo scientist award category dr ashutosh pandey assistant professor at the indian institute of science education and research thiruvananthapuram received the national young geo scientist award for his ground breaking research on the geodynamic evolution of the eastern dharwar craton the national geo science award it is one of the oldest and most prestigious national award in the field of geo sciences instituted by the ministry of mines government of india in the year 1966 
Before year 2009, these awards were called as National Mineral Awards. The awardees are honored in three categories, National Geo Science Award for Lifetime Achievement, National Geo Science Award and National Young Geo Scientist Award. The Union Minister for Coal and Mines at present is Shri G. Kishan Reddy. Where has the Kelo India Smita Wushu League in West Zone started? In Uttar Pradesh, Option B. The four day league started on 25th August 2024 in Merit, Uttar Pradesh. Kelo India's Asmita Yogasan League was held in Patna, Bihar recently. The three day East Zonal League concluded on the 24th of August. Bihar Yogasana Sports Association is hosting the league for the first time. 500 women players from East Zone states took part in the league. Players from 12 to 18 years and 18 to 55 years of age group participated in five main events. Lake Turkana, recently seen in news, is located in which country? In Kenya, option D. Why in news? In August 2024, a UNESCO and WFP survey of the lake found that it has high potential for fish, especially in the central and northern regions. It is Africa's fourth largest lake and the world's largest permanent desert lake, also recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lake Turkana is in northern Kenya, extending into Ethiopia. It lies in the eastern Rift Valley. Three rivers including Omo, Turkwell and Kerio flow into the lake, but only the Omo River is perennial, contributing 90% of the inflow of water each year. Kenya, it's a country in East Africa. Its capital is Nairobi. Official languages are Swahili and English. Its currency is Kenyan shilling and president is William. Ruto. Ashoka Sea Mount was in news recently. Where is it located? In Indian Ocean, option B. Recently, three underwater structures in the Indian Ocean were named as Ashoka, Chandragupta, and Kalputra that have been approved by IHO and UNESCO's IOC, which reflect India's growing influence in marine science and its commitment to exploring and understanding the Indian Ocean. These structures are located along Southwest Indian Ridge. They were discovered by the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, IHO. It was established in 1921. It's an intergovernmental body. India is a member of it. IOC, it was established in year 1961 and it promotes international cooperation in marine sciences. Which state has launched the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce, IACC Center of Excellence for MSME? Gujarat Option B. It is the first ever center by IACC in India. It aims to upgrade and strengthen micro, small and medium enterprises and to prepare Indian SMEs for exports. The IACC is a chamber that helps member companies succeed in India by providing networking information advocacy and business support services. The chamber has 15 offices across India, including in Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai, and New Delhi. MSME, it is micro, small, and medium enterprises. It is the apex executive body for the formulation and administration of rules, regulations, and laws relating to micro, small, and medium enterprises in India. The Minister of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises at present is Jeetan Ram Manji. Gujarat, its capital is Gandhinagar, CM is Bhupendra Bhai Patel and Governor is Acharya Devrat. When has the United Nations marked the 17th International Day of Remembrance of and Tribute to Victims of Terrorism? On 21st August, Option A, United Nations has organized a virtual high-level event Titled Voices for Peace, Victims of Terrorism as Peace Advocates and Educators. The day's theme in 2024 was Voices for Peace. The General Assembly established the day in 2017 to honor and support victims and survivors of terrorism and to advocate for their human rights. The day aims to honor victims and survivors, protect human rights and counter terrorism. Who is the author of book Bharat Ke 75 Mahan Krantikari? Bhim Singh, Option C. Rajya Sabha MP Bhim Singh has highlighted the contributions of lesser-known heroes. In his book, 
He also informed that MP has done detailed research and compilation of facts for this book, along with three other books which celebrate the sacrifices of unsung revolutionaries. Which State Help Center has been launched at IGI Airport to assist NRIs? Punjab Option B Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan inaugurated the Punjab Health Center at IGI Airport, New Delhi, marking the first state-run NRI facilitation center in India. The 24 cross center offers assistance with flights, taxi services, lost luggage and emergency accommodations. Punjab, its capital is Chandigarh and governor is Gulab Chand Kataria, who has been named India's top female business leader. Roshni Nadar Malhotra Option A Roshni Nadar Malhotra of SCL Technologies tops the 2024 Barclays Private Clients Hurun India list of influential women leading family-owned businesses. These plans are based on recommendations from the State Economic Advisory Council, which has become the first state to offer unified pension scheme to employees. Maharashtra Option A UPS will be there for employees who joined the service after 1st January 2004. The UPS will provide central government employees a pension after retirement for those who serve 25 years. The scheme is set to take effect on 1st April 2025. Employees who worked for the center for 10 years would get a minimum of 10,000 rupees per month. The UPS also gives Retiring employees a lump sum payment when they retire. Under the UPS, the employee contributes 10% of their basic pay and dearness allowance, while the government contributes 18.5%. Assured family pension. In case of an employee's death, the family will receive 60% of the pension amount that the employee was receiving at the time of death, ensuring continued Financial support for dependents. The scheme will be effective from 1st April next year. All central government employees who retire on or before 31st March 2025 will be eligible under UPS. Maharashtra, its capital is Mumbai. Chief Minister is Eknath Shinde and Governor is C.P. Radha Krishnan. Which e-magazine has been released by NCERT? on India's inaugural National Space Day. Sapno Ki Uran Option C This inaugural issue centers around the theme of space. It will be published every quarter and accessible online through the NCERT portal. Sapno Ki Uran aligns with the National Education Policy 2020. The launch of Sapno Ki Uran is a result of collaboration between Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education and NCERT. The Union Minister of Education at present is Sri Dharmendra Pradhan. The National Council of Educational Research and Training NCERT, is an autonomous organization of Ministry of Education, the Government of India who has been appointed as Additional Director General of Indo-Tibetan Border Police, ITBP. Sanjeev Rana, Option A. He is only the second officer who is not from the Indian Police Service to reach this high rank in the history of the ITBP. ITBP, it is Indo-Tibetan Border Police. It is one of the seven Central Armed Police Forces. It was formed in year 1962. The governing body is Ministry of Home Affairs, India. Its main job is to secure the Indo-Tibetan border, which stretches for 3,488 km. The ITBP was first Indian force to reach the war front in Kashmir during the 1965 war. Which country has introduced a new law called Right to Disconnect? Australia Option B. As per a new law, Australian employees now have the right to ignore their bosses outside working hours. The legislation immediately applies to employees of medium and large enterprises 
with the small businesses given a 12 month period to comply with the new regulations australia its capital is canberra it lies in continent oceania its currency is australian dollar and the prime minister is anthony albanese when was the 39th national eye donation fortnight observed 25th August option C it was observed from 25th August to 8th September Punjab Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr Balbir Singh and eye surgeon launched 39th National Eye Donation Fortnight for mass awareness it is aimed to spread awareness among the public about the importance of eye donation and to motivate people to pledge their eyes for donation after death so as to address the critical shortage of corneas for transplantation dr balbir singh informed that the corneal damage leads to blindness which is known as corneal blindness the cornea is a transparent layer in front of the iris it is the cornea which is taken from the donor's eyes and is transplanted onto a corneal blind person which enables the person to see the world this surgical procedure is called keratoplasty Where was the global Muthamis Murugan conference held in 2024 In Tamil Nadu option D the Muthamis Murugan International Conference 2024 was held in Palani Tamil Nadu showcasing Tamil culture and spirituality over 50 Japanese nationals participated in the event Tamil Nadu its capital is Chennai chief minister is M K Stalin and governor is rn ravi recently which country's foreign affairs minister was on four day visit to india for a joint commission meeting brazil option a external affairs minister s j shankar and mr vera co-chaired the 9th india brazil joint commission meeting from 25th to 28th august 2024 the joint commission meeting is held every two years Brazil will host the G20 Leaders Summit in Rio de Janeiro on 18 to 19th November. Brazil, it lies in continent South America. Its capital is Brasilia. Official language is Portuguese. Currency is Brazilian real and president is Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Recently India has presented the four Bhishma cubes to which country? to Ukraine option A India has donated four Bhishma Bharat Health Initiative for Sahyog Hit and Maitri cubes to Ukraine aimed at enhancing emergency medical care amidst the ongoing conflict with Russia key features of Bhishma cubes are it is compact and organized medical supplies and equipments are packed into 15 inch cubicle boxes There is transport flexibility. The cubes can be transported via multiple modes: air, sea, land, and drone. Each cube weighs up to 20 kg and is designed to be carried by an individual. Mother and Bhishma cubes: 36 mini cubes combine to form one mother cube. Two mother cubes combine to form one Bhishma cube. One mother cube offers first line care, shelter, and food for up to five people for 48 hours the second mother cube is equipped for surgical care handling 10 to 15 basic surgeries per day ukraine its capital is kiev currency is ukrainian hryvnia official language is ukrainian president is volodymyr zelensky and prime minister is denis shmihal The Union Cabinet has approved the implementation of blank during financial year 2024-25 to 2028-29. PMAYG option A. The Union Cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi has approved the proposal of the Department of Rural Development for implementation of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin during financial year 2024-25. to 2028-29 wherein financial assistance is to be provided for the construction of 2 crore more houses at existing unit assistance of 1.2 lakh rupees in plain areas and 
lakh rupees in north eastern region states and hill states of himachal pradesh uttarakhand union territories of jammu and kashmir and ladakh now 2 crore more houses will be constructed under the pmayg during next 5 years from 2024 to 2029 to achieve the objective of housing for all in rural areas the government of india has launched the pmayg with effect from april 2016 Which of the following shrub has been included in the red list of threatened species recently? Nila kurinji option D it blooms once in 12 years and has been included on the IUCN International Union for Conservation of Nature official red list of threatened species the mass blooming of this flower takes place in the western ghats once in 12 years How many medals has India won at the under 17 World Wrestling Championships held in August 2024? 10 medals option D. A total of 29 Indian wrestlers competed at the under 17 World Wrestling Championships 2024 in Amman of Jordan from 19 to 25th August. India won total 10 medals which includes Five gold medals, one silver medal, and four bronze medals. Greco-Roman wrestling competition was conducted from 19 to 21 August. The women's freestyle events were contested from 21 to 23 August, while the men's freestyle ran from 23 to 25 August. The list of all Indian wrestlers who won a medal are. The gold medalists are Aditi Kumari, Neha Sangwan, Pulkit, Kajal, and Mansi Lathar. Shrutika Patil has got silver medal, Bala Raj bronze medal, and Muskan bronze medal. And in Greco-Roman, Sai Nath Paridi bronze medal and Ronak Dahiya bronze medal. How many new districts have been added to the Union territory of Ladakh recently? Five option C. Five new districts made in Ladakh are Zanskar, Dras, Sham, Nubra, and Changthang. Including the previous two, Leh and Kargil, Ladakh has seven districts now. Ladakh, its capitals are Leh and Kargil. It became a union territory on 31st October 2019. The Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh is Brigadier B D Mishra. Before 2019 Ladakh was part of the former state of Jammu and Kashmir which policy has been approved by the union cabinet for fostering high performance biomanufacturing of the department of biotechnology recently bio e3 option b bio e3 it is biotechnology for economy environment and employment it was proposed by the department of biotechnology india it will strengthen the government's initiatives such as net zero carbon economy and lifestyle for environment the bio e3 policy will foster an environment that is sustainable innovative and responsive to global challenges and lays down the bio vision for viksit bharat over 8000 biotechnological startups will be involved generating more job opportunities contributing to gdp growth and promoting sustainability which organization is planning to launch first human space flight to explore the planet's polar regions in late 2024 spacex option t the four person flight which spacex announced is called fram 2 fram 2 will be commanded by chun wong an entrepreneur and adventurer from malta spacex was started by elon musk in 2002 isro will launch their gaganyaan spacecraft on uncrewed mission and spacex docking experiment this year who has been elected as the new chairman of the international cricket council jaisha option a jaisha will assume the role in december following the end of the ongoing third term of current chairman greg barkley he has also served as the bcci secretary since october 2019 
and chair of the Asian Cricket Council since January 2021. 35 years old Jay Shah has become the youngest chairman in the history of the ICC. Other Indians who have headed the ICC in the past are Jagmohan Dalmia, Sharad Pawar, N. Srinivasan, and Shashank Manohar. ICC, its headquarters in Dubai of UAE, it was founded on 15 June 1909 and its CEO is Geoff Alardis. Where is inaugural Global Women's Kabaddi League is set to launch in 2024? In Haryana, option C, the first ever Global Women's Kabaddi League is set to debut in 2024. The event known as the Global Pravasi Women's Kabaddi League will unite women athletes from over 15 countries. A Memorandum of Understanding MOU was recently signed between HIPSA and the Government of Haryana where the league will commence. It will be organized by the Holistic International Pravasi Sports Association HIPSA, in partnership with World Kabaddi. The HIPSA president is Kanthi D. Suresh. The president of International Kabaddi Federation is Vinod Kumar Tiwari and acting president of World Kabaddi is Ashok Das. Which department has launched a scholarship scheme to promote philately among students? Postal Department Option D It's launched under the Deen Dayal Sparsh Yojana. The scholarship is aimed at the promotion of aptitude and research in stamps as a hobby. Students of class 6 to 9th having good academic records and pursuing philately as a hobby will be awarded the scholarship on the basis of philately quiz and philately project which will be conducted by a circle offices of the department. The selection process will consist of two levels. Level 1, a philately written quiz will be conducted at the regional level. Level 2, the student selected at the regional level written quiz will have to submit a philately project for final selection. Postal Department, the founder is Government of India. It was founded on 1st October 1854. Its headquarters is in New Delhi. It comes under Ministry of Communication, Government of India. The Child Department is India Post Payments Bank. The Union Minister of Communications, India is Jyotira Ditya Sindhya, who has been elected as the second vice chair of the International Olympic Committee's Athletes Commission. Abhinobindra, option A. Emma Tero, an ice hockey player of Finland, was re elected as chair, and Maja Vlozjoska, a cycler of Poland, and Abhinobindra, a shooter from India, were elected as vice chairs. They were all unanimously elected and will hold their positions until the Olympic Winter Games Milano Cortina 2026. International Olympic Committee it was formed on 23rd June 1894. The founders are Pierre de Coubertin and Demetrios Vickelas. Its headquarters in Lausanne of Switzerland. Official languages are French and English. The president of IOC is Thomas Back. The director general is Christophe de Keeper. There are 107 active members, 41 honorary members and 206 individual national Olympic committees. Kursk region is in news recently. Where is it located? Russia, option D. Why in news? A state of emergency was declared in Kursk following a Ukrainian attack into the Russian border region in August 2024. Kursk is one of the oldest city located on the southwestern border of Russia. It is situated in the center of the European part of Russia. It lies along the upper Seam River in south of Moscow. Russia, its capital is Moscow. It lies in continent Europe and Asia. Its official language is Russian. Currency is Russian ruble. The Prime Minister of Russia is Mikhail Mishustin and the President is Vladimir Putin. Which institute has been ranked first in NIRF ranking 2024? IIT Madras Option D. IIT Madras retains its spot as the best institution for the sixth year. The Indian Institute of Science Bangalore is a top institution in the universities and research categories. I am Ahmedabad continued to be the top management institute for the fifth year. All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames New Delhi is the best place 
to study medical sciences in the top spot for the seventh consecutive year. IIT Roorkee retained its first position in architecture and planning for the fourth consecutive year. National Law School of India University Bengaluru was named the best law school for the seventh year in a row. Colleges from New Delhi remained at the top in the colleges category with Hindu College and Miranda House being the top two. Ranking conducted by the National Board of Accreditation, NBA, and National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF. NIRF, it is National Institutional Ranking Framework, which is a ranking methodology released annually by the Ministry of Education, Government of India, to rank institutions of higher education in India. The framework was approved by the former Ministry of Human Resource Development and launched by the Minister on 29 September 2015. The first issue of this ranking was issued in year 2016. Who has been appointed as new DGP of CISF? Rajvinder Singh Bhatti, Option C. CISF, it is the Central Industrial Security Force, which is a central armed police force in India under the Ministry of Home Affairs. CISF's primary mission is to provide security to large institutions, be it governmental or private. It was founded on 10th March 1969. Recently, the railway station Akbar Ganj of Lucknow Division has been renamed to Blam. To Ma Ahorwa Bhavani Dham, Option B. The names of eight railway stations in Lucknow Division have been changed. They are as follows. Kasimpur Halt is changed to Jazz City. Jazz is changed to Guru Goraknath Dham. Miss Rolly's new name is Ma Kalikan Dham. Bani is changed to Swami Paramhans, Nihalgarh is changed to Maharaja Bijli, Pasi, Akbar Ganj has been changed to Ma Ahurwa Bhavani Dham, Wazir Ganj Halt is changed to Amar Shaheed Bhale Sultan and Fursad Ganj is changed to Tapeshwar Nath Dham. What percent of growth India has registered in coal production in year 2024? 7.12% option A. The Ministry of Coal has said that the cumulative coal production for this financial year as of August 2024 has increased to 370.67 million tons compared to 346.02 million tons during the same period last year. Overall, coal dispatch has also seen a substantial rise for this financial year as of 25th August reaching 397.06 million tons as compared to the previous year's dispatch of 376.44 million tons. Coal dispatch has represented a commendable growth rate of 5.48%. China leads as the world's foremost coal producer and consumer with over 50% of global output followed by India and USA. Who has assumed charge as DGP of Andaman and Nicobar Islands? H.S. Dhaliwal, Option D. Senior IPS Officer Hargobinder Singh Dhaliwal has assumed charge as the new Director General of Police of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, its capital and the largest city, is Port Blair. The Lieutenant Governor is Devendra Kumar Joshi. Pampadum Shola National Park, which was seen in the news, is located in which state? In Kerala, option C, a new plant species, Gongronema sasidharani, was discovered in Pampudam Shola National Park of Kerala. It's the first time the Gongronema genus has been found in South India. Pampudam Shola National Park is in southern western ghats of Kerala, covering about 12 square kilometer. Previously, Gongronema species in India were only found in the northeast Uttar Pradesh, Punjab and West Bengal. This plant has smooth stems and small, urn-shaped flowers that are creamy white to purplish green. Pampudum Shola National Park, it is the smallest national park in Edukki district of Kerala in India. It is on the border with Kodai Konal, Dindigul district of Tamil Nadu. It was established in year 2003. Kerala, its capital is Thiruvananthapuram. Chief Minister is Pinarai Vijayan and Governor is Arif Muhammad Khan. Which state assembly has passed a bill of raising marriage age for women from 18 to 21? 
हिमाचल प्रदेश ऑप्शन बी द करेंट लॉस फॉर हिंदू द हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव से मिनिमम एज ऑफ मैरिज फॉर द ब्राइट एंड ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स एज द मिनिमम एज फॉर द ग्रूम द स्पेशल मैरिज एक्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर एंड द प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्स ऑल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स एज द मिनिमम एज ऑफ कंसेंट फॉर मैरिज फॉर वीमेन एंड मैन रिस्पेक्टिवली हिमाचल प्रदेश इट्स कैपिटल्स आर शिमला एंड धर्मशाला चीफ मिनिस्टर इज सुखविंदर सिंह सुखू एंड गवर्नर इज शिव प्रताप शुक्ला विच स्टेट कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव द डिजिटल मीडिया पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर उत्तर प्रदेश ऑप्शन ए डिजिटल मीडिया पॉलिसी अंडर विच द गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू प्रिपेयर अ लिस्ट ऑफ सोशल मीडिया इन्फ्लुएंसर्स हु विल रिसीव स्टेट एडवर्टीजमेंट्स फॉर प्रमोटिंग स्कीम्स एंड अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द यू पी डिस्पेंसेशन दीज इन्फ्लुएंसर्स विल बी पेड फॉर देर अकाउंट्स ऑन एक्स फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम फॉर यूट्यूब वीडियोज शॉर्ट्स एंड पॉडकास्ट द इन्फ्लुएंसर्स ऑफ दीज कैटेगरीज कैन अर्न अप टू एट लैख रुपीज सेवन लैख रुपीज सिक्स लैख एंड फोर लैख रुपीज पर मंथ उत्तर प्रदेश इज कैपिटल इज लखनऊ चीफ मिनिस्टर इज योगी आदित्यनाथ एंड गवर्नर इज आनंदी बेन पटेल Who has been conferred the M S Swami Nathan Award for Environment Protection 2024? Anand Darshan Shankar, Option C. He is the chairman of the Indian Institute of Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine, who has been conferred the M S Swami Nathan Award for Environment Protection 2024. The award was given by the Rotary Club of Madras East in partnership with the Kevin Care Private Limited. in partnership with the Kevin Care Private Limited the award was presented by justice Santil Kumar Ramamurthy Madras High Court and Soumya Swaminathan chairperson of the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation Dr Shankar has received several notable awards they are Norman Borlaug award in 1998 and Padma Shri in 2011 MS Swaminathan Environment Protection Award is named after MS Swaminathan a renowned Indian agricultural scientist and environmentalist it recognizes outstanding achievements in the field of environmental protection including efforts to combat climate change preserve biodiversity promote sustainable agriculture and address other critical environmental challenges it is given to honor individuals or organizations that have made significant contributions to environmental conservation and protection which bank has launched a special debit card for visually impaired customers pnb punjab national bank option c pnb has launched the pnb antah drishti braille debit card a new debit card specially designed for visually impaired customers pnb was founded on 19th may 1994 in lahore of pakistan its founder is dayal singh majithia its headquarters is in new delhi and md and ceo of pnb is atul kumar goel where has the india pulses and grains association hosted the first edition of भारत दलहन सेमिनार 2024, न्यू दिल्ली ऑप्शन डी इंडिया पल्स एंड ग्रीन एसोसिएशन होस्ट्स द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ भारत दलहन सेमिनार 2024 फोकसिंग ऑन इंडिजिनस पल्स प्रोडक्शन एंड पॉलिसी रिफॉर्म्स द सेमिनार वाज अ स्टेप टुवर्ड्स रियलाइजिंग आईपीजीएस विजन टू मेक द इंडियन पल्स एंड ग्रीन सेक्टर ग्लोबली कॉम्पिटिटिव एंड एडवांस इंडिया फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन सिक्योरिटी The landmark seminar was supported by the Department of Consumer Affairs, Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Government of India, Department of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, Government of India, Niti Aayog, ICAR, Indian Institute of Pulses Research, and Global Pulse Confederation. Delhi, it's a Union Territory of India and National Capital. Chief Minister is Arvind Kejriwal, and Lieutenant Governor is. Shri Vinay Kumar Saxena Which country has withdrawn the orangutan diplomacy policy Malaysia option B Malaysia has withdrawn its proposal to gift ape species orangutans to countries recently that import malaysian palm oil inspired by china's panda diplomacy Malaysia is facing problem in making its palm oil industry more sustainable due to deforestation that's causing 
threats to orangutan habitats. Malaysia is the second largest palm oil producer after Indonesia. The IUCN status of orangutans is critically endangered. Malaysia, it's a southeastern Asian country. Its capital is Kuala Lumpur. Official language is Malay. Currency is Malaysian Ringgit. And Prime Minister is Anwar Ibrahim, who has won the 61st National Chess Championship 2024. Grandmaster Karthik Venkatraman, option C. Grandmaster Karthik Venkatraman is at first position. Grandmaster Suri Shekhar Ganguly is at second, and Nilash Saha is at third position. Grandmaster Karthik Venkatraman has won the 59th edition in 2022 as well. A total of 340 players took part in this 11-day, 11-round Swiss League rating open tournament. It was organized by the Haryana Chess Association in Guru Gram of Haryana. From 17 July to 27 August 2024, All India Chess Federation (AICF) it was founded in year 1951. Its president is Nitin Narang. The International Chess Federation or World Chess Federation it was founded in year 1924. Its headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland, and president is Arkady Dorkovich. Which country has become the 18th security of supply arrangement partner of the U.S.? India option D the department of defense and the ministry of defense of the government of india entered into a bilateral non binding security of supply arrangement other sosa partners include australia canada denmark estonia finland israel italy japan latvia lithuania the netherlands norway republic of korea singapore spain sweden and the uk through the sosa The United States and India agree to provide reciprocal priority support for goods and services that promote national defense. The arrangement will enable both countries to acquire the industrial resources they need from one another to resolve unanticipated supply chain disruptions to meet national security needs. The SOSA is a bilateral agreement between two or more nations. designed to ensure priority support for defense related goods and services during peace time emergencies or armed conflict unlike legally binding treaties sosa is a non binding agreement that emphasizes mutual cooperation and priority access to defense resources powerful typhoon shan shan has hit which country recently Japan option C Japan's strongest typhoon of the year typhoon Shanshan has made landfall in the country's southwest region bringing torrential rain and winds of up to 252 km per hour the typhoon struck near Satsuma Sendai in Kagoshima on the island of Kyushu it's the most powerful storm this year and one of the strongest at landfall since 1960 Tropical cyclones form over warm ocean waters near the equator. Warm moist air rises from the ocean surface creating a low pressure area. Higher pressure air moves towards this low pressure zone leading to more warm air rising. As the rising air cools, clouds form creating a spinning system of clouds and wind. The heat from the ocean intensifies the cyclone increasing wind speeds. an i a calm center forms when the wind speeds become strong a powerful tropical cyclone ampel also had hit japan recently it was a category 4 hurricane depending on its location and strength a tropical cyclone is called a hurricane typhoon tropical storm cyclonic storm tropical depression or simply cyclone it's called hurricanes in atlantic and northeast pacific typhoons in northwest pacific and cyclones in indian ocean and south pacific ocean the remal cyclone also had hit in bay of bengal in between 25th to 27th may 2024 which organization has launched the ai powered shopping assistant chatbot rufus in india amazon option d 
Rufus is a new generative AI powered conversational shopping assistant. Rufus is an expert shopping assistant trained on Amazon's product catalog and information from across the web to answer customer questions on shopping needs, products and comparisons. Make recommendations based on this context and facilitate product discovery in the same Amazon shopping experience customers use regularly. Amazon is an American multinational technology company engaged in e-commerce, cloud computing, online advertising, digital streaming, and artificial intelligence. It was founded in year 1994. Its headquarter is in Washington of US. Founder is Jeff Bezos and CEO and president is Andy Jassy, who has been appointed as the new chairman and CEO of the railway board in India. Satish Kumar option D he will take the charge from 1st September 2024 the railway board has approved the re-engagement of retired railway officers as consultants to fill vacant posts up to 31st December 2026 Ministry of Railways India it was founded in year 1905 its headquarters in New Delhi of India the union minister of railway is Ashwini Vaishnav Which space organization has launched Tanager 1 satellite recently to track methane emissions? NASA option C. The launching details are the satellite is launched using a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It is launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. It's jointly developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and other partners. Main objective is detection of major carbon dioxide and methane emissions. The environmental focus is targeting key greenhouse gases that significantly contribute to global warming. It is capable of monitoring emissions across 130,000 square kilometers daily. NASA it was founded in year 1958 in US. Its headquarters in Washington DC of US. The NASA administrator is Bill Nelson. who has been honored as the youngest ever disney legend at d23 expo milly cyrus option c milly cyrus is an american singer songwriter and actress d23 expo was held in anaheim of california in usa d23 is the official disney fan club also known as disney d23 which is the official fan club for the walt disney company which was founded in year 2009 who is the new chief justice of bangladesh chief justice sayed rafat ahmed option d bangladesh its capital is dhaka currency is bangladeshi taka official language is bengali head of government is dr mohammad yunus it lies in continent asia where was the kashur rivaj cultural fest 2024 held In Kashmir option C youth of Jammu and Kashmir's Baramulla district created a world record for the largest ever Kashmiri folk dance performed by 10000 young women at the Kashur Rivaj Cultural Festival the mega event was organized by the Daga division of Chinar Corps in the collaboration with Baramulla district administration and Indrani Balan foundation as a run up celebration for the 78th independence day The festival took place at Professor Shaukat Ali Indoor Stadium to showcase the vibrant traditions of Kashmir through traditional dances, music, calligraphy and cultural activities. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.